Throughout the centuries, there have been many different execution methods used across different countries. Some of the most brutal include being hanged, drawn and quartered, and in Asia they even used elephants to stomp condemned people to death. Certain places became synonymous with execution, such as the Tower of London, where three queens of England were executed on Tower Green, losing their heads. But there was a method of execution that is most well known for being used by British colonials in India, and it was completely barbaric, and would have led to someone being quite literally blown to bits. Blowing from a gun was where a cannon was used, but on the end of the barrel was someone who had been condemned to death. Join us today as we look at one of history's most brutal execution methods, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Blowing from a gun it's believed emerged as an execution method in the 16th century, and it was even used during the 1900s. It was believed that Portuguese explorer Francisco de Almeida executed a number of people in 1509 using the method, and other Portuguese explorers did the same. Francisco Barreto was accused at one time of blowing a number of prisoners to pieces in Mozambique. It was a barbaric practice in which someone was tied to the mouth of a cannon, which was then fired, usually resulting in someone's body being completely destroyed. One account of the practice says, The prisoner is generally tied to a gun, with the upper part of the small of his back resting against the muzzle. When the gun is fired, his head is seen to go straight up in the air, some 40 or 50 feet. The arms fly off right and left, high up in the air, and fall at perhaps a distance of 100 yards. The legs drop to the ground beneath the muzzle of the gun, and the body is literally blown away altogether, not a vestige being seen. As mentioned, it was most used and associated with the British, who went over to conquer places such as India, and it was used to execute rebels during rebellions, such as the Indian Rebellion of 1857. The British would execute sepoys who would desert and aid rebellion, and they used the old Mughal punishment of blowing from a cannon to punish others. In March 1764, native officers planned to get people to defect to an enemy force, and with this, one native officer was blown in front of a gun, in front of his soldiers. More examples continued as the decades rolled on, and in 1798, a mutiny amongst British soldiers broke out, and the British executed one of their own soldiers by blowing them from a cannon. This is the only example of a European being blown from a gun by the British. It was often used alongside other public punishments such as flogging, and it had a profound effect on those who were summoned to watch the execution. In 1806, the Valour Mutiny began, with a number of British soldiers and officers being killed in their sleep, and reprisals resulted with six people being blown from a gun. Further plots were discovered and further execution using the method was ordered. But it was mostly used by the British to suppress the Indian Rebellion of 1857. There were a huge number of executions ordered to put this down and deter people from rising up, and accounts of the executions do exist. In a journal it documented that, on 8th of June two sepoys from the 35th Light Infantry were blown from guns, 10th of June, in Ludhiara, Peshawar, some 40 from the 54th Regiment were blown from guns. On 13th of June, 10 sepoys from the 45th Regiment at Firzopur were blown from guns, two hanged. That same day, 10 sepoys from the 54th Regiment suffered the same fate. The 26th of the same month, one was blown from a gun, one hanged and three were shot. On the 8th of July, it's assumed that a captured rebel would be blown away. On the 19th, Aurangabad, one was blown away, two shot. On the 5th of September, Satara, six were blown away. On 17th of September, one was blown away, 121 were summarily executed. On the 23rd of September in Karachi, one was blown away. At the end of October, near Agra, one was blown away. On the 16th of November, two sepoys were blown away. During a few months between May and September 1857, 523 people were executed by the British in India, and 44 of them had been blown from a gun, with the most common method of execution being a firing squad. There were also accounts that Indian rebels captured British civilians and officers and blew them from cannons during the rebellion, but this is disputed. The British continued the brutal practice after the rebellion, and in 1871 had executed 65 Sikhs by blowing them from guns. As mentioned, it had been used by the Mughals for a long time, and it was used to punish certain crimes such as abduction and constant thievery. There were a number of things that often went wrong during the executions though. For example, in one execution in 1857, 
It was ordered that blank cartridges should be used, but some cannons had been loaded with grape shot. This led to a number of spectators and members of the public being hit by the grape shot, which caused them to be hit with shrapnel, and they had to have limbs amputated. Also, some soldiers were not a significant distance backwards, and the British soldiers were injured by flying pieces of bone and flesh. There was another incident where a soldier who was to be killed fell down just as a shot went off. This was recorded, and an eyewitness stated, One wretched fellow slipped from the rope, by which he was tied to the guns just before the explosion, and his arm was nearly set on fire. Whilst hanging in agony under the gun, a sergeant applied a pistol to his head, and three times the cap snapped, the man each time wincing from the expected shot. At last a rifle was fired into the back of his head, and the blood poured out of his nose and mouth like water from a briskly handled pump. This was the most horrible sight of all. I've seen death in all its forms, but never anything to equal this man's end. As the condemned would be blown to bits, often birds of prey would circle above and would eat the pieces of flesh that were thrown into the air, and also dogs would rush to the scene to devour the remains of a human who had been blown from a gun. It was also used in Afghanistan for a while, and was even used as late as the 1920s to destroy political opponents. During the 1880s, the Emir of Afghanistan was known for executing 5,000 people a year, and many of these were done using cannons. The method of execution was incredibly barbaric and terrible, and it would result in someone being destroyed by a cannon fire. When comparing methods of execution, blowing from a gun has to be up there as one of the most dangerous and distressing to have witnessed. The British used it in India to send a clear message to any possible rebels or deserters to fall into line with their colonial rule. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.